All right, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes um, to briefly introduce uh, the film uh, that I'm asking you to watch this week. And just uh, be even before that, um, just to note that uh, kind of this week we're kind of taking a breather uh, from the, the readings and uh, the quizzes just to, um, I don't know, just to kind of slow things down a little bit to kind of prep ourselves for kind of the second half. Uh, we're almost done with our looking at our, our so-called Eastern religions uh, next week, we'll be looking at Taoism and Confucianism, Shinto and Zoroastrianism. Um, and then um, the week after that, we will uh, do the midterm. So I've got a couple of questions from uh, some of you about the midterm. That will be uh, in week nine. And um, that will be the only thing I'm asking you to do during week, uh, week nine. It'll be a take-home um, essay test. Uh, I'll, put the, I'll, I'll give the, the midterm week its own folder in which you can find the midterm itself, um, and then a link for you to upload your, your answers as a Word document. Um, so there will not be any kind of you know, timed tests, timed quizzes, uh, timed aspect, um, you know, no objective, no multiple choice, true, false on the midterm. It will be a, a series of kind of long form essay questions, which will ask you to kind of compare and contrast um, a number of things that we've tackled in this first half of the course. So um, more information on that as we get closer, but we're still a couple of weeks away from that, okay? So the, the, um, I'm asking you to watch this film this week, which is week seven, and then the midterm will be coming up a couple weeks from now in week nine. Um, so really the only thing I'm asking you to do this week is to watch this film and then to comment upon it in the, in the forum, in the, in the weekly folder. And so um, this, this film, Life of Pi, um, was first a, a book, a very popular book, um, and then it was made into, in my opinion, quite a wonderful movie and quite a, uh, a faithful uh, movie in terms of the book. Um, but it's a strange film. It's a strange film, admittedly. It involves, you can see in the back slide, um, this young man, Pi, who's the uh, kind of the title character here, getting stranded on this rowboat, uh, not rowboat, lifeboat, after a shipwreck with a number of, of uh, strange animals, most famously this, um, this, this tiger. Um, and he has all of these kind of these surreal adventures and um, kind of, uh, tragedies and, and uh, terrifying things happen to him. Um, but it's also a film and a book that was noted for its, um, its deep religiosity. Um, there is a clear kind of uh, allegory uh, going on here at some level about um, uh, spiritualism, about religion. And uh, whenever you have kind of your know, characters with many different animals and kind of odd and surreal things happen, it invites you to kind of to watch and to read in terms of symbolism. And so I do not claim to kind of to know what this film is all about. I, I've watched it a few times. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, and one of the reasons I, I love the film and I like to show it to a class is because it does, it evades a kind of simple wrapping up. It's not like, oh, that represents this and this means that. It really kind of pushes you to kind of think more deeply, um, but without kind of coming to a solid conclusion as to, you know, this is what this film is all about. So um, it has, uh, I think a lot, it's imbued with lots of kind of Eastern uh, religiosity. Um, and so I think these questions are, how would you define this film's overall stance regarding religion or a religious view? Um, when the film begins, uh, we hear, the, or actually throughout the film, we hear, Pi kind of talking about the various religions that he's interested in, that he subscribes to. It's not just you know Buddhism or Hinduism. It's uh, he kind of samples uh, a number of religions uh, kind of across the board. Um, you know, how does that work, and what does that mean? Um, do you see any overlap between themes, ideas in the film, and things we covered regarding Eastern religions in class? So this is what I'm really interested. Do you see um, you know having now looked at Hinduism and Jainism and Buddhism, indigenous religions? Um, do you see any of those kind of core ideas that have cropped up in those uh, kind of spilling out into the screen here and informing um, some of the narrative or, or the things that Pi uh, believes in and talks about? Uh, what do you think the film has to say about the nature of truth and reality? Like I said, it's a very surreal film in, in many kinds of ways. It, it, uh, it is not a realistic film uh, from you know, kind of a logical uh, kind of black and white point of view. Uh, is it making a comment on kind of the nature of reality or truth? Uh, what kind of symbolism does the film uh, make use of and the use of colors in the film? Uh, what might the tiger represent? What might the other animals represent in the film? Um, the, the boat, uh, the, uh, you know, the water. Uh, you know, just let your, you know, just uh, 
put your kind of rational hat away for a moment and just kind of let your imagination run with this. And again, in these, these kinds of questions, there's really no, there's no wrong answer. I'm really just interested in kind of seeing what you guys come up with. And then number five, I just this is kind of a more specific one. Um, you know, do a little digging. Um, notice the name of the lifeboat uh, Pi and the Tiger are stranded on. It shows up. So you have to look for it. I don't think the film really calls attention to it, but look for it. And then do a little kind of, you know, web research. Uh, what does that name mean? Why this name? And what could it mean? And how could it relate to the larger uh, themes in the film? So uh, I hope you enjoyed. I think you will. Um, it's a very challenging film. It's a very interesting film. And then uh, give some um, thoughtful answers to these questions. All right. See you soon.